My name is Aaron Craig and I'm a teacher and game developer at Let's Learn This Together. And my passion is to get you into game development. It is not impossible and you don't need a math degree. And if you have the desire, then we can make it happen. This book is designed to take total newbies to game developers in just 30 days. And you don't need a lick of programming or game design experience. It's simple and broken down into easy to manage chunks that will keep you entertained and encouraged along the way. Just give me one hour a day for the next month to turn your dream into a reality. So head on over to letslearnthistogether.com to order your copy of So You Want to Be a Game Developer today. And I'll see you on the other side. Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Let's Learn This Together. And we're going to be discussing how to do eight directional movement in a very easy way. And I'm going to include some scripts and functions that you'll be able to just throw into your game and start using right away. So I've got two functions that I've created called eight movement controls and eight movement. These are what is going to be available to download and you'll be able to just plug and play into your project with whatever controls you want and the sprites you're using for that player. So let's go ahead and break these down and how they work. So eight movement controls takes four inputs, the directions that you're gonna be moving, left, right, up, and down. So you can pass in a ORD, like the WASD keys like I've got right here, or you could pass in just the arrow keys. It doesn't really matter which way you do that. But when we get in here, we have a variable called H input and V input. And just a quick shout out to Friendly Cosmonaut where I borrowed some of her code and her ideas for getting this working in a nice, elegant way. So once it's in here, we're gonna be subtracting the right from the left and the down from the up. Just a quick note, this is something you can really only do in Game Maker, and I normally frown upon it, but because this saves like 20 lines of code, we're gonna use it here. You can only use it in Game Maker because other programs and game engines, the keyboard check really isn't a zero or a one or an integer that you can actually subtract from. Here it's fine, so we'll go ahead and use it. So if we're pressing right, then we're going right. If we're pressing left, we're going left. But if you try to press right and left, you're gonna get a zero and you're not gonna be able to move at all. That's what this whole subtraction part is here. So we're gonna be able to control when we go up and down, left and right with just this input. And again, you just pass in what kind of input you want and you'll be all set on that front. And then the movement, you just pass in the sprites you want. You can see I've got eight different sprites from my player over here, down, down left, so on and so forth. Uh, the order here is important because we're gonna be using them in this order. But when you type out this function, like eight movement, you can see that down here, it tells you exactly which one you wanna be using. So use that as you type them in. And the nice thing is you only need to do this once and then you can reuse this for other characters as well very quickly and easily. So once we're inside of here, we're gonna get the direction we're trying to go. We're gonna set the speed, both the X and the Y speed based on the movement speed that we have and the direction we're going. So movement speed is a variable I created here, X and Y speed I made right here. And then down here we increase our X and our Y based on the X speed and Y speed that we're moving. Then after that, we know which way we're going, we have set our speed and our direction, which means that we can use a switch statement or a series of if statements, doesn't really matter. This way is just a little more elegant and sometimes easier to read if you're used to switch statements. And you just set it to zero, 45, 90, 135, 180, 225, 270, and 315, because those are the eight directions that you can get based on this point direction, zero, zero, H input, V input. So we are creating these variables inside of this script, so make sure you're calling that script first. If you do this in the wrong order, it won't work, but if you call it just like this, you'll be all set and ready to go. So again, I'll give you a demonstration of it, but that's really all there is to it. So you move, if I hold the diverging keys, then you don't move at all. If you hold the correct keys, you'll always change directions. It doesn't matter which order you press them in or anything like that. 
The first time I tried to do this just completely on my own, the first idea was just doing lots of if statements. I had some issues and this system I think is much, much better. So I wanted to share it with you and share these functions so that I can actually say I contributed a little bit to this project. So again, you can download these, throw them in any project. No need to credit, just get up, get going, make games and share what you made because I would love to see it. If you liked this video, hit the like button. I appreciate it and it helps the video to grow. But that's what I've got for you today. So, as always, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of the awesome people who support me over on Patreon. Their names are on the screen now and every dollar pledged helps me create more awesome content. You can support me for as little as one dollar a month and get access to exclusive perks like my Discord server, your name in the credits, early access to my YouTube videos and courses, and more. Check it out at patreon.com slash letslearnthistogether.com or find the link in the description below and become a patron today.